you know, oftentimes we're judged on on the numbers, the data, the the percentages, the graphs, and what's left out of that is the human element of what's happening to get our students to progressing in their reading levels, in their math levels, in the time it takes them to walk across that stage and graduate. Um, there's a whole lot going on with them that they bring to us that we have to deal with in order to get to the academic achievement. When we start making judgments on why someone shows up in Crete and doesn't speak English, doesn't have a job, you know, being a burden, I would just share um, you know, what would you do with your family if, if it was so bad, so bad in another country that you're willing to walk across a desert or get crammed into a van? Um, tell me what you wouldn't do for your family. It's, it's really easy for us to get off work and go straight home and not think about what happens in the community or in our schools, but that directly affects all of us. And so if we adopted more of an attitude that this is not just someone else's problem or Morton's problem or North Omaha's problem, but that this is a Nebraska issue and we're all gonna stand behind it. You know, I just encourage when people, when they hear great things happening in, in their community or their schools, share it with everybody. There's great things happening every day, everywhere. But if we don't tell other people about it, then we've done a great disservice to everyone. Go to the school in your area and volunteer. Um, they need involvement, they need fundraisers, um, they need just friendly faces in the building that are willing to come in and say good morning to a student um, who might need that when they're coming in the door. We were always taught that you're as strong as your weakest link. And we have kids that come in with many challenges and deficiencies that we, we have to make up. But when they leave our schools, they become part of the greater society of Nebraska. And we want all those kids to have the same opportunities and the same situations that they can be successful in because these kids are gonna go on. And so it's not gonna matter what color they are, how much money they had when they were little, um, where they came from, their background. Once they're here, they're ours. They're all Nebraskans. We don't go around and say, well, you're this kind of a Nebraskan and you're this. We're all Nebraskans. B-E-S-T. The best is what I want to be. That's what I want for my students. I want them to be the best. I want them to be the best doctor, the best lawyer, the best politician, the best teacher, the best principal, the best astronaut, the best scientist. Whatever they choose to be in this lifetime, that's what I want for them. And that's what I want for their parents. I want their parents to be able to say, my child was motivated and encouraged to go on and strive to be the best that they can be. And that's what I want for my children and my students, is to be the best that they can be.